right? So let's look at NAS. Okay, I deleted the daily trend line. Sorry, I just need to do that again. I'd like to have those in just to remind me that S is very, no, I don't connect it from there. Connect it on the recent. So one, two, three, four, touch four. Just like that, right? So now we want to focus on NAS from here, from the most like recent obvious um, low, which is this one right over here, right? So this is where I'm going to start my trend line, right? It's actually my first time looking at NAS since it closed last week. I mean, since the market closed last week. So let me see. We've would had this setup, right? And yes, in fact, I'm not gonna lie, I did wait for the put touch here, but obviously didn't enter that trade, right? So looking at NAS right now, you can see that the upward trend line has been intersected, it's been broken, you know? So we don't really wanna focus on this. There's no market, the market price is currently, more current market price is far from the trend line, right? So we wanna connect new trend lines. You can actually see here, we do have um, highs and we can connect the downward trend line over here, it's going to be something like this. You can see touch one, touch two, touch three. Those who entered too soon, they probably like, I know NAS is going to possibly break out this downward trend line. I'm just going to show you guys now. We have market structure here. Uh, something like that. H1. So as you guys can see, Right, this is how NAS is moving, right? Those who entered the third touch, like how do I say this? What you what like what you see isn't really always the case, you know. You need to wait for confirmation, eight um four hour candle, daily candle, you know. You can see we have our first touch, second touch, third touch, right? Most people would have been like, okay, third touch, I'm selling. Is this the sell? No, it's the buy. Hold on. It would be like, okay, third touch close below, strong with rejection going in. You know, entry points usually would have been like over here. We take first take profit would be the nearest um, low. That's a downtrend now. So first take profit of this nearest low. And then second would be somewhere there, right? But then look at what happened. So you're looking at this trade, you'd be like, okay, strong with rejection, H1, right? One hour time frame. Uh, first touch, second touch, third touch, you'll be like, okay, third touch, strong with rejection. You know, that, that, that can't just be your only like, reason to enter. You need further confirmation. You need to see how your four hour can your H4 candle closed, daily candle, you know? Like people jump into trades too soon. So now those holding, those who entered the sun, probably like crying. Entry points would have been like somewhere here. You know, you can see that wicked down a bit. You would have been in small profits, like 100 grand, 0.01, you know. But eventually, especially if it was a smaller country, would have been blown out, you know, because you're looking at the wrong, you've been caught on the wrong side of the market, you know. You, you're entering trades too soon. There isn't further, there isn't enough confirmation to enter the south because you can see that on daily time frame, the candlestick is very, very bullish. People actually looking at this one. This is Thursday's candle, Friday's candle, you know, fat bullish. And the full hour, you know, momentum, you guys, momentum tells a story, right? So now let's look at NAS for this week, right? Um, personally speaking, I, honest, I believe that NAS is going to break out this downward trend line, right? Downward trend line. Our first entry point could actually be on the previous high. Let's see. We can actually catch it before it breaks out. Let's see. I'm gonna see something. Just like that you can see resisted, supported, resisted, resisted, supported, broke, you know, resisted again, resisted. But you can see now that this zone is actually broken right now, this H1 candle. It's very, very bullish, right? You can see we actually um, 
retesting this zone, right? However, you can see that we do have lows here to connect an upward trend line. Uh, clip it all on. Right. So yes, we do have a downward trend line, guys, but looking at the bigger picture, bigger time frame, you can tell that NASA's still bullish, you know. Momentum never lies. That's one thing I'm gonna say, guys. Momentum never, never lies. Momentum never lies. Like NASA momentum, like same WhatsApp group. You just need to look at the bigger picture, guys. That's something I've been like insisting, something I've been preaching since the start of the session. You need to look at the bigger time frame. Look at the momentum on the bigger time frame to avoid being caught on the wrong side of the market or entering trades too soon. So as I said, we have our first touch, second touch, and yes, NAS is retesting this zone, right? But however, I do believe that it's going to wick down a bit. Um, wick down a bit to our trend line, upper trend line for a third touch, then enter. Then we can enter price to go to the upside, right? But however, if you want to be like a safe trader, if you want to be safe, um, I personally suggest waiting on the breakout of the trend line, right? And then entering on the retest, right? Trend line plus this low over here goes hand in hand. Let me just show you on the end 30, 30 minutes. So it's actually on the same level, right? So that's that's how I'm looking at NAS for this week, guys. So it's in the chats. Do you guys understand? Like the importance of it, like looking at the bigger time frame. Looking at momentum, how the candlesticks close, open the chat. Yeah, I also see price. Yeah, so guys, yeah. I remember guys, we strictly, most of the time we like to use, we like to stick to trend lines, you know, for entry points. We like to stick to trend lines. I, I feel more comfortable entering a setup based on the trend line. Yes, yeah, well, yes, I also see. Ah, it's okay, proper. Yes, bro, being caught on the wrong side, something we need clarity on. Yes, like you guys mustn't rush to enter the trade. What NAS break the trade line, but don't retest it. Then it's it's fine. We missed that setup, you know. If it, if what? What's if NAS breaks the trade line, but don't retest? There's nothing we can do. Remember. Too steep, like the group. But it depends. It depends. So as I was saying, um, somebody asked, "What if Nas breaks the trend and doesn't retest?" Then there's nothing you can do. Like guys, it, the retest isn't guaranteed. The touch isn't guaranteed. You know, you just trade what you see. You trade what the market gives you, guys. What you see. Just wait for the market to hundred percent. Just wait for the market to play out. Okay. You literally need to wait for the market to play out. That's. Like that's why I touched on psychology in the beginning, guys. Like you need to just be patient. You know, some people like are probably in buy right now, you know. But I personally do believe that NAS is gonna drop a bit down to the trend line, possibly even like reject, you know, strong with rejection before continuing to push to the upside, you know. Like there isn't really much to it. I can't be saying what if, what if, you know, I just trade what I see, you know. And that's what I'm trying to like drill into your guys' brain that like you need to trade what you can see, what the market um gives you, you know, trade what you see. So yeah, I see first touch, second touch, second touch. I'll be waiting for a third touch. If it, if I don't get a third touch, let's say the, the um, NASDAQ NAS closes below my upward trend line, then I'll simply change my points of view. I'll wait for a retest. If I don't get that retest, if it just like shoots down, then it's fine, you know. Like you need to have a rule, you can't be trying to catch every single pip in the market, every single move. You can't be catch, like, you need to have your trading plan. You know, my trading plan is third touch, retest, third touch, fourth touch, fifth touch, and retest. You know, if I don't get those, I don't enter. It's like, that's that simple, you know? Let me see. The session really opened my mind. Yeah, like you need to, like you really need to be patient. Guys, you need to be patient, F. Like, patience, patience. Like, your psychology needs to, like, change. You mustn't, like, yeah. You can't, it's okay if you don't trade for a day or a week. 
you know, it really is okay. If you didn't get your setup, then don't trade. If you didn't get your entry point, don't trade. You know, that's why you need to know yourself as a trader. But at the same time, it's not like, um, yeah, you need to know yourself as a trader. You know, like my trading plan is different to my mentor, right? And when Ash has taught me, like, he like, showed me a trading plan, everything, you know, it's different. This is what works for me. Yes, he taught me the same thing. But remember, everyone trades in their own way, guys. Remember that some people are in the buy right now, for example. Some people are, are in this buy on NASDAQ right now, right? It's like those who trade zones, whatever it's called, supply demand zones. I don't understand it. They in this buy, you know? But remember, guys, we use trend lines, right? And trend lines are like, like number one backbone, you know? Rely on trend lines, guys. Don't, yes, we can use support and resistance and all that, but only when it goes hand in hand with the trend line, you know? But strictly, like as beginners, focus strictly on the trend line. No third touch, no entry points, you know? So NASDAQ this week, I'm going to be waiting for third touch. I'm going to wait to SG. Let me say, I'm going to wait to see how it reacts to the chain line. You know, that's how you should look at the market. So I'm going to wait to see how it reacts to the chain line. If we respect the chain line, buys, breaks, I'm going to wait for the retest. And then, yeah. Can we do a currency pay? Right. Let's do a currency pair. Uh, give me, give me a pair. Give me a pair. A currency pair. <laughs> currency pair. GPUSD, GPUSD. Mm -hmm. Right. GPUSD. To me, I'm not really. This isn't a pay I'm comfortable with, you know. Let me, let me look at it. How do I remove this thing? So, GPSD. Okay, first thing I'm looking at market structure. I can see that it's very, very bullish, right? And then we've got to this high, this zone over here. Ever since then, it failed to break above, you know, failed to carry on with the bullish rally, right? So we can expect sells, right? But looking more into it, I can see this low, most recent low. So let me just, but we can actually, see, we want to focus on the current market, you know, so we can see here, yeah, I can actually anticipate to read what's going to happen. Like the structure, guys, structure never lies. You need to understand how to restructure. So let me just plot this. Yeah, it's resist. And I just do this to know where to connect my train line from, you know. So as I said, I do that to know where to connect, connect my train line so you can see first low, second low. Just like that, right? So this is literally how I look. I, I, I've never... I didn't analyze GPUSD before. I haven't actually looked at the markets. So I look at, okay, first touch, second touch. Wait for touch number three, right? So for entry points, however, oh, snap. We can see that we do have like a mini downtrend here, like a channel, it looks like a channel. Let me see if I connect. Yeah, so connecting the downward trend line now on um, our obvious peaks. So one, two, three, third touch, that would have been entry points. If you um, opened your charts, you know, while this was still forming, right? Let me see if I can connect. That isn't too solid, just remove it, right? So that's H4, let's go down to H1. Let's look at the charts quick. I'm also seeing a buy, it's a descending, yeah, 100%. I'm just still, I'm looking at the market at a perspective of like other, how other people will be looking at it, you know, but I really know that I want to buy because, you know, I connect to my upward trend and I can see, you know, that it's uh, more bullish than bearish. I just look at the candle. But guys, you need to know, you need to be able to, you need to know how to read um, 
And these are how to like look at the markets and read, study the candles. You can see that we have like strong the bullish candles down. compared to um our bearish candles. You know, like our buy, buying candles are much stronger, much longer. You know, compared to like our bearish candles. You know, you can even see the most recent move was very very bullish. So right now, GPU is actually going to retrace. Okay, no, I was, actually wasn't finished. I wanted to see if I can connect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like this. So in the Falcon way, Falcon language, this would be a correction, right? So you can see that here's our impulse. Impulse, uh, hold on. Be impulse, right? And this is currently our correction, right? Waiting on another impulsive move. We'll be waiting for another impulsive move to the upside. So yeah, I'm, I'm, um, I, I think GPUSD is gonna buy based on technical analysis, you know. Yet again now, I just need to be patient or everyone needs to be patient for the buy to come. You know, like you can't enter now, you don't have, like we know it's gonna retrace down. Okay, we know it's most likely to retrace. It's very likely to retrace down to the trade line, but you can't say you wanna sell, like why? Why you wanna sell? You, that's when you're like gambling, you know, you're just guessing, you know? You don't have an entry point. You have no reason to enter. You really do, you really don't have any reason to enter. Then such the trade line, no trade line touch, no nothing, you know? So, GPUSD, based off our strategy, guys, we should wait for it to retrace down. Wait for it to retrace down for the third touch. See how it reacts. If it closes above the specs, get our reversal candle. Then we can buy. First take profits. If, if it's retracing, this will be our first take profits because it will be the previous high, you know. Um, but if you want to follow the 90% rule, there you go. There it is. So do you guys, do you guys, do you guys? Oh, it's not bad. I wanted to put a ray. Do you guys understand that? Do you guys, do you guys understand that? You guys understand. Understand loud and clear. Away, yes, bro. Always, 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 always proper. Simplicity, yeah. Simplicity. Online session. Online session. Can you please explain it again each time? But it's saved. It's saved. Give me another pair. When to ninety percent rule, mostly when you have a big account. Like I, I'm not gonna lie to you, I, I hardly use it. Um, because you, you like you do know there's gonna be like pullbacks and everything, but eventually, guys, you can even save this. Like it is, we are gonna reach this. How we yeah, for triple top, Let's see first top, second top, boom, third top. Yeah, so remember this. Remember. A lot of vibes. Ah, I'm seeing gold, a lot of gold. I'm seeing a lot of gold. Okay. Let me look at it. Let me type in gold on Google. Mm -hmm. All right, trading views, X A U U S D. Forex. No, this is an old, 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 old phone. This is okay. Not the only one. Our oh, guys, VIX isn't in the mentorship thing. Like even me, I'm still learning VIX. Lately, I've been blowing on it. So I haven't been posting. 
know what I mean? It's impossible. But you can see losses only on VIX. Recently made profits, but yeah, VIX is something I'm still learning. I'm not in a rush to give up mentorship for it's okay. So gold, right? Gold likes to move in zones. So first things first, we can see obviously guys like same for trend lines. Also, your I mean, thingy cut remove that. You want to look look at your obvious um levels, you know, obvious lows, obvious highs. So you can see that here, some things here, right? I start starts over there. So there we go. You can see this major major level. Remember on the daily time frame, like if you open gold on the H one time frame, you would have seen this big bullish move, but you wouldn't understand. You wouldn't have understood why. You know, why is gold pushing to the upside? Us, who look at the market from like the bigger time frames, we know that, okay, gold is pushing up because there's this like major zone, resisted resistance, turn into support, 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 support again, support again, support again, you know? So understanding the market is very, is very important, you know, because when you understand the market, you can't, you're confident, you know? So if, let's say we were to enter buy on gold right now, we'll be, We'll be calm, like we'll be confident. We know that gold is buying because it's um been bouncing off our support zone. Whereas compared to someone who would open the charts and just see that gold is buying, who would just see that gold is moving to the upside, they would buy, right? But then they won't be as confident because they don't know why they're buying. You know, the why is very important, guys. I hope, I hope, I hope you guys understand that. It's very important to understand the markets. Okay, so I can see that zone. Uh, next, so, yeah, you can see we have something there. But it does. It looks choppy in the past, but okay, let's see. So there we go. We have our two zones right on gold. But you can actually see we have. I want to show you guys. Most of the third touch is always guaranteed. It's not always guaranteed. You see, yeah, uh, first touch, second touch. Let's say we opened our charts and markets price market was over here. We're like, okay, we want to wait for a third touch, but you see, we didn't get it. We didn't get the third touch, you know. It happens. It happens. Okay, so, so I was still looking at gold. Uh so you can see it's moving between these two zones. It's my first time actually looking at it. But there is like a mini zone here. You can see gold likes moving zones. That's why I ah, you like you hardly see me trading it because it doesn't fit my trading um plan. So we can actually see that gold is buying based off the daily time frame um support level, right? But you can see that on H4, there is another zone here in the middle, resisted off this zone, broke out, supported, supported. You can see just ranging, right? So and uh, we can actually expect to duplicate a replica. Duplica, replica, whatever it is, but another of this, <laughs> another move of this in this zone over here, right? So cold, based off this, right? Cold is most likely, actually, yeah, just actually goes hand in hand with the trend line trading strategy now. Looking at it from the trend line trading strategy, we will see this as a retest. When we have that um, upward trend line, wait for the retest to sell. So yeah, yeah, it's actually something I'm gonna wait. Yeah, I can actually trade this now because it fits my strategy. No, no touch, no entry. You get a touch here, then you're yeah, perfect for entry. So yeah, gold is actually retesting. The gold is actually yeah, retracing to retest the daily trend line that was broken. Right, pluses can go hand in hand with those who trade. Um, it's gonna go hand in hand with those who trade supply and demand, support and resistance. You know, they'll see it as um, gold um, reacting to this level over here, right? Which is not wrong. Yeah, it might, it might, you know, it could. But as looking at it from trend line training strategy, from the trend line training strategy perspective, you will see it as a retest, you know, to the downside. So yeah, that's gold. I do think, yeah, it's going to continue going up a little bit. I just want to see how it's going to react to the trend line. So yeah, that's my analysis on gold. Actually. Thanks for that one, actually. So do you guys, do you guys um look at H1 and see an uptrend? Okay. Mm 
uptrend yeah yeah you can see first such second such third such so this is actually the most recent entry point correct yeah that guy's right shout out so do, do you guys understand that <sighs> do you guys understand before we go next are you understanding Yes, uh, yeah, we follow. All right. Um, the session's going to get cut now, guys, because I only have the standard version. Um, it's going to, let me, I want to go back to the Zoom screen so I can see everyone's face so everyone can put the camera on. Okay, wait. Uh, the session's going to get cut just now because I have the standard.